Yo, ladies and gentlemen, track number three, first two tracks talking mad shit. First two tracks got a little bit of got a little bit of addressing and acknowledging the beef. That sounds like it's never gonna come to an end. It sounds like those bridges were burned, and it's not even worth repairing that bridge because it's gonna cost the city too much money. I respect it. I don't know if I would try to repair a relationship with Kanye. Personally, it might be one of those where it's like, ah, that's just way too much energy than I fucking am willing to exert on one relationship. But either way, tracks are going stupid. Rapping Drake is rapping Drake. He's goaded. Follow us over on Twitch, guys. As you can see, we're doing this live. Today is the Friday that the album dropped, Friday evening. So if you want to be a part of it, consider joining. We do all of our album reviews, all singles live on Twitch. And then more importantly, if y'all guys want to see the things that we do live on stream that don't make the channel, most of the shit you see on the channel, there's like there's like four or five times more shit on Patreon that will never make the channel. And you get raw album streams. So if you want to see that kind of thing, join over on Patreon. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, see what the fuck we got. Track three. Yeah, y'all might want to skip this one. This is uh. Harsh. All right, better. All right, track four. Harsh truth. Very harsh truth. Look to all the ladies wondering why Drake can't rap like that same old guy. It's cause I don't know how anymore. I don't know how. Yep. Yeah. I've had my beliefs tested. My Faith broken in half. Fucking talk to him, Drake. We we missed the old Drake. The old Drake's gone, bitch. I lived 12 years of life. I'm not that same fucking kid anymore. Oh God, it's cause I don't know how anymore. Too I much shit's gone awry. Yeah. I've had my beliefs tested, my faith broken in half. I try to joke and I laugh, but I just don't know how anymore, love. I don't know how. Yeah. To all the super triggered women talking down on me Relax, drink some water Act like you're somebody's <laughs> daughter Can't get a tan from your phone light Baby, it's late June Open the blinds, get out the shade room <laughs> You can't get a tan from your phone screen brightness Open the shades, bitch It's late June, get out the shade room Oh, man Drink some water, holy shit, y'all Why don't y'all drink water, ladies? Y'all know it's the whole key to life, right? Why do why is there a whole TikTok subculture of middle-aged white women that pour 9,000 crystal light packets into a 60-ounce Stanley with a hundred ice cubes in there talking about oh water tot girlies? Bitch, just drink H2O! Stop making adult Kool-Aid and be an adult. Oh, but it's good for you. There's zero calories. That's not how it works. Act like you somebody daughter Can't get a tan from your phone light Baby, it's late June Open the blinds, get out the shade room Maybe you could stop getting involved In some shit when you not involved Or maybe you go for a walk somewhere That is not a mall What's your baby's shoe size? Could tell by the laces they tight Or you only focus on the steps That I'm taking in life And then you got the ones who claim a guy That's everyone's nigga Leave for a month to Columbia And now everything bigger even your attitude is bigger, your appetite growing. Your nigga is not even a starting QB. That nigga on the field before the game, he just practicing throwing. What happened to selling real estate? Where all that shit was going? All your fucking captions lately talking about happy and glowing. All of that. They all want to be real estate agents, dog. It's air horn, but it's also. Just graduated real estate school. Oh, brother, this guy st You and the other 30 women who think y'all are IG models. Practicing throwing. What happened to selling real estate? Where all that shit was going? All your fucking captions lately talking about happy and glowing. All of that snapping and posing. Whole time he jealous of your past. Who the fuck was your last? Asking questions about niggas and you get slapped in the face if you happen to know him. Domestic abuse, that man is not a man for you, he's a pathetic excuse Ooh. Lying through your teeth, scared of letting your skeletons loose But you stick around, cause who's out there that's better for you Plus he paid Bro, lying through your teeth, you're scared of letting your skeletons loose? <laughs> who's out there that's better for you Plus he paid the surgeon so your ass could get a caboose But he <laughs> wants you covering it up so your dresses is loose Plus it's the only thing they see when you get introduced now you want to flight to Bogota just to get it reduced. Good Lord. 
More weeks of recovery clinics. Front like you love every minute. You getting pushed to the brink. You sitting at double your limit. Hey, yo, who the fuck is he talking about? Because he's lighting her ass up. Low key. This could be a lot of toxic women just in a different, this could be just like an allegory for a lot of the mentality of a lot of these women who live on social media. And I get that's why the names, the, the if the shoe fits. Like, hey, bitch, like if you're mad at this song, don't be mad that the shoe fits. News, good Lord. More weeks of recovery clinics. Front like you love every minute. You getting pushed to the brink. You sitting at double your limit. Meanwhile, that nigga out in my city fucking on bitches. Hey. If they even mention me and show me love, then it's finished. Jealous ass niggas. Damn. Damn. Then you got the ones that travel across the globe. Everything is paid. They don't need a man. Don't listen to Drake. Never been a fan. You got a million hoes. Yeah, I understand. I'm never fucking you. So take that out your plans. I'm good on all you niggas till a ring is on my hand. Then I search your name. Find you on the gram. Click the link tree and see you sucking dick on cam. What the fuck? <laughs> They not going to like that one. You thought these bitches were mad when you said that you ain't a model if you ain't been in Vogue? You thought the hoes were mad because of that line. He's just doubling down on this bitch. It really is scary hours out here. Scary for you. Yeah, I find that shit embarrassing too. <sighs> now, yeah, now that you might want to skip this one. Now it makes sense because I'm getting secondhand. If I was a woman, right, and I live this fake ass luxury life, I don't need no man, fuck dudes, but I'm out here fucking a dude for money so that way I can say fuck dudes. I might be a little triggered by this bitch too. This is basically when he said on Scorpion, when he was like, I know girls who take pics across the world and then they just save them to post later to make it look like they still on the go this is that line turned into a four minute song <laughs> yeah this one's gonna hurt then i search your name find you on the gram click the link tree and see you sucking dick on cam what, what the, the fuck? fuck i like his new ad lib too that what the fuck he's been doing it in all the songs where he's snapping then i search your name and find, find you on the gram, gram. Click the link tree and see you sucking on cam. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. It can't be. Oh, it can be. It can be. Nah. I promise you. So, uh, to all the ladies wondering why Drake can't rap like that same old guy, it's because I don't know how anymore. Because of y'all. I don't know how. Yeah. I've had my beliefs tested, my faith broken in half. I try to joke and I laugh, but I just don't know how anymore, love. I just don't know how. The women are going to all say this song is the epitome of the sassy man apocalypse. Fellas, they're going to try to gaslight us into thinking that this song is just Drake being sassy and it's not true. And I need y'all to stand on fucking bitterness and be like, nah, bitch. It couldn't be any closer to the truth. If it were any truer, we'd be sucked into the fucking black hole like Matthew McConaughey. We're at the event horizon of truth right now. Interstellar reaction on the second channel. Oh how anymore, love? I just don't know how. Yeah, to all the ladies on my case with the look on their face, allow me to put these bums right back in their place. For all the niggas who act 12, the fake gangsters with a Mac 12, the mm. ones that only hit your phone up when it's past 12. Baddies not the only ones worried about striking a pose. You ordering one bottle to split between five of the bros. <laughs> all your booze think it's Halloween and they went ghost. That's when you go Miami on the gram and you rent boats. And now they thinking you... Damn, all the hoes you thought you had went ghost. So then you go and rent a fucking boat in Miami just to post on the gram to try to get these women to look and see if you're living up your life without them. Oh, this song is talking about the men too. <laughs> In case you don't know, men could be bitch. That's when you go Miami on the gram and you rent boats. And now they thinking you sweet with the bread like French toast. Hey. You boys becoming detectives, but ain't in no trench coats. Hey. I would never guess that you niggas is this crazy. She took dick in Ibiza, you turning to Dick Tracy. You niggas so <laughs> jaded, acting hawk tough, but you only turn green because your necklace is gold plated. She settled for an <laughs> NBA star that's through playing. Instead, she got an NBA fan that's 2K. She looks 
fucking. Oh, she thought she had an NBA player, but turns out she just got a 2K player that's an NBA fan. He said, y'all think y'all are tough acting all Hulk Hogan. The only thing turning green is your neck from your fake ass chain. You niggas so jaded, acting hawk tough, but you only turn green because your necklace is gold plated. She settled for an NBA star that's through playing. Instead, she got an NBA fan that's two can. She looking for high ground, hate being tied down. She loved you for the first year, but those feelings died down. She living in downtown. You live with your parents still. You don't own a steering wheel, so you can't even drive down. You downloaded the my Mercedes app for some time now. The track where she ride round. You know what? she going before she there raise eyebrows you hacking her eye cloud you committing cyber crimes you niggas is out of line she's finally moving on she's only um, bro you hacking her eye cloud you committing cyber crimes hey yo you ever just see some shit on social media and it's like bitch just break up all this fucking energy that you're putting into I downloaded the Mercedes my Mercedes Benz app so that way I could see where the car is at at all times so that way it could get my feelings hurt when she's doing her own my feelings are already hurt because I don't got a whip I only have the Mercedes app so that way I could track her whip who's got the energy for this I ain't got no I ain't got the time for all this you hacking our iCloud you committing bro you committing cyber crimes They're like to put that in perspective right like oh, I'm just hacking her iCloud I just want to see who she's talking to that's not just hacking iCloud cloud that is committing a cyber that's account takeover that's a cyber crime felony all just that way you can find out what some bitch is doing downloaded the my mercedes app for some time now the track where she ride round you know where she going before she there raise eyebrows you hacking her eye cloud you committing cyber crimes you niggas is out of line she's finally moving on she's only said it a thousand times you sold her a dream talking that give you the world shit her friends want to get her back on that diamonds and pearl shit i mean there was girls there but it wasn't a girl's trip she met a guy she met a guy that ain't just getting by a better guy she about to spread her wings and you just gotta let her fly you know you can't control a gemini that's facts she likes this is gonna hurt some feelings bro this is gonna hurt some feelings like this bitch going to miami and you're like nah it's just a girl's trip let me tell myself and drake's like i'm here to let you know my boy it is not just a girl's trip she met some dude and they're fucking right now i hate to be the bearer of bad news but i also love it y'all are going out so fucking sad right now i have secondhand embarrassment from this whole song can't control a gemini that's facts she like shh quiet everybody the game started my new boo whooping at night and he said he played the garden he said if i ain't watching and that nigga ain't starting she points to the guy that she talking about and it's james harden damn dog lost your lost your girl to the sniper huh 13. good guy i feel for you bro look yeah i'm cringing hard right now and it's crazy because James Harden is kind of like not that attractive. No homo. Do you say that in 2023? Is that homophobic to say that? All homo. Is that worse? Is that better? Who knows? So, to all the ladies wondering why Drake can't rap like that same old guy It's because I don't know how anymore. I don't know how. Yeah, I've had my beliefs tested, my faith broken in half. I try to joke and I laugh, but I just don't know how anymore, love. I don't know how. That's real. It's crazy because when he first started rapping and everybody's like, we want the old Drake back. These problems that he's talking about right now weren't even problems in the world yet. Like, how can I go back to who I was before when before I didn't have to deal with y'all's shit? Now I got to see this shit everywhere I fucking go. Of course, I'm going to be jaded now. That might be top five Drake tracks of all time right there. That is not that is not an attractive mirror to have to look yourself in. <laughs> is that pump the brakes? That's not top. That's not that's top 10 at least jungle i, I gotta give you my nominees i can't even i can't even put them in order yet i gotta put i gotta give you my nominees maybe we'll do that on another stream where we'll like go over artists top songs and then put them in order just so you know jungle's number one these days i'm letting god handle all things above me uh yeah that track bro i honestly don't even want to talk about it that is how embarrassed i am 
for the motherfuckers that are going to hear this. And the crazy thing is, is that the motherfuckers that he's talking about, you know, are Drake fans. You know they're Drake fans, and they were hyped for Scary Hours 3. They're like, fuck yeah, he's about to go stupid. And then they put on the shoe fits, and then it's Silence in the Lamb, like the horror film. <laughs> Could you imagine getting fucking blindsided like this? Where's Sandra Bullock's fucking adoption when you need him to protect your blindside? Con you're in concussion protocol and you probably have CTE with how hard you just got blindsided by this song. <laughs> Holy fuck. Damn, that shit is crazy, bro. That track was insane. Everybody say what's up to YouTube. City boys up. Never mind. <laughs>